Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it. I am Penge and welcome to Safe House. So Safe House is all about spies. It's all about spies, which is jolly exciting. So this guy here, he's a spy. He's wearing a hat, so that's good. That's a good spy thing to do. This person here, I'm gonna assume it's a lady because it looks like she's got lipstick on, but you never know. They're wearing some sort of like balaclava thing by the look of it, although I still can't be entirely sure. And this spy here appears to be wearing some sort of tin helmet, or I don't know, like a suit of armor helmet. I don't know. And he's waving a bit like the queen so there we go three very different kinds of spies so yeah we get put in charge of a spy headquarters in the fictional african nation of kazatare i think it's pronounced kazatare that'll do i think that's about right and we have to go through and overthrow the evil man who has taken over kazatare so as a dictator in charge he's very bloody and brutal and all round unpleasant and we i think we're american i think we're kind of like the cia or a cia sort of safe house we want to go through and overthrow him because he's not a nice man which is jolly splendid so we do that we build our safe house we have to try and keep it secret we have to stop enemy spies doing stuff to it and we have to earn some monies and we crack codes and send out spies and import goods and all that kind of stuff that you might expect spies to do currently the game is not available on steam but it will be tomorrow it is released tomorrow on the 22nd of may but i have got my hands on it a bit early so thank you very much developers for the key very very welcome indeed so what i'm going to do is i've played this a little bit and i'm going to start from where i left off in my game so i've not got that far in but i've got the extra room i've got one extra room so let's go in and we shall have a look at safe house and here is our safe house before we begin just very quickly just forgot to mention earlier that this is the beta beta test version of the game if you like so the final version of the game might have slightly different bits in it to the one that we're looking at today should have mentioned that earlier completely forgot but there we go so this is our safe house we are looking at it side on we are currently using these three rooms down here and this room here but it leaves us with eight empty rooms into which we are going to build some stuff. Now, this room was empty. We've built in there. We should come to that in a moment. So this room here with all the books in, this is the kind of the front. So this is what people think this whole building is. They think it is a used book shop. And this lady here sits there and she deals with the spies. She deals with the spies who come in with the goody spies or baddie spies. That's what she deals with. And here is me, so that's me sitting there having a, hopefully a tea, I would assume it's a tea, sat in my, let's be honest, slightly miserable looking office, but there we go, I mean, I've got something on the table, a bookshelf with no books on it, and an exciting pin board and a purpley thing, and uh, this is kind of, I can't know exactly what it is, this is sort of the cryptology sort of lab thing, we'll find out when we go into that after the construction period, but yeah, this, this is the code cracking place essentially in ciphers and stuff and then over here if we go to this place this is a kind of uh, goods in depot if you like so people will drop off goods here and we have to authenticate them with various codes so the game is split into three bits firstly we have the construction period where we get to build something now our goal is to build an infirmary so we started out with just these three rooms so i started out with my office the front here with the books in and the sort of goods in area at the back we've built this that was one of the earlier goals. And now our current goal is to build an infirmary. And a little man pops into the corner and we have a chat about stuff. And he says, build stuff. So I don't think at the minute I can build the infirmary. I also have no idea if it makes any difference where you build anything. But if we click into just here and we go to the left, it says infirmary. Provide medical aid to wounded operatives plus 300 revenue. But it costs 6,000 cash to build. So we can't build that now. But other things we get to build. There's a black ops barracks. There's an interrogation room. A spy lounge. A forgery workshop. A gadget lab. Which just sounds very James Bond. I like that. A bomb workshop. Which sounds slightly more sinister. Shooting range. Propaganda lab. And surveillance hub. Now I don't know where I'm going to put all those things. Because how many of those are there? There's one. Hang on. Go back. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. So there's ten things we can build. And only eight slots left, which is intriguing. Can we not have them all? Maybe we don't have all of the things. Okay, well, that's interesting. I hadn't realised that. But the minute we cannot build a... Um, we can't build an infirmary because we haven't got enough monies. So we shall have to close the construction period. We can't do anything else because we need the infirmary first. So let's continue. Then we go into the assignment period, but we've got no one to assign currently. We've not got that far yet. So we go on to the actual playing the game bit. And this is where it gets a bit tricky. So something will happen in either of these three rooms. So this is the sort of cryptology, whatever it was, sort of, yeah, ciphers room. Ah, right, okay. We have a, a man coming into here. So he will speak to her and he will give her a phrase. The highway is dangerous these days. We then need to open our dossier and look at the front office weekly code words. So 
He has said highway, and our response is willing. This is how I believe this works. So we are going to type willing. Now you don't need to type a sentence with it, you just type the word willing. So we type willing. She says, I'm not willing to talk to you. He says, these hours are ridiculous. So now, are these hours or ridiculous or something like that in any of these? So tapes, assistance, willing, shirt, good, extremely supposed. Did, 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 did. No, it's not on there. Hours or ridiculous in any of these? I don't think they are. I don't think you are an actual legitimate spy. I think you're a naughty spy. So we reject you, I think. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Oh, I did that completely wrong. I just lost us a massive load of cash. Oh, dear. What did I do wrong there, then? These hours are ridiculous. I can't see any of those words in here. Uh, okay, well, there we go. I did. Yeah, okay, maybe that wasn't the best example. That bit has confused me immeasurably. Right, here we go. Somebody's put some goods in. Are these goods actually goods that we want? So let's go to the loading bay. Do we have HP 5J4? We have HP R4J, so no. We reject those. Right, we get our 918 monies back. <laughs> Good, okay. Right, my shame is slightly lessened by the fact that I can read a list of codes. Okay, that's good. And now we just wait. Now this is this is hard. I think this is very hard. So the cipher is plus or minus five letters from this here. So this word here, if we go up or down five letters, it will make a word that we need to write in. Now I have got to myself the alphabet written out because going forward five letters is fairly easy. Going backward five letters is harder than you think. So X forward five is one, two, three, four, five. So C, M forward five is one, two, three, four, five. R, F forward five is one, two, three, four, five. K. So it can't be that because C, R, K doesn't, that's not a word. It's got to be backwards. So one, two, three, four, five. S. M backwards is one, two, three, four, five. H. F backwards is one, two, three, four, five. A. So that's S, H, A. P five backwards is one, two, three, four, five. That's K. And J five backwards is one, two, three, four, five. Shake. So is it shake? Da, 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 da. Yes, it is. So we have deciphered whatever this thing was that they were looking for. Okay, splendid. Right. Anything else going on? So the rooms flash on and off when something is happening. And I think the day ends at about nine, I think. So Zara, so plus or minus four. So that will be uh, D, one, two, uh, one, two, three, four. D, E, R would be one, two, three, four. Dev, E, normal, forward four, one, two, three, four. Devi and H forward four, one, two, three, four. Devil, devil, oh goodness me. Right, okay, so devil, submit that. $918. Right, so I can, in theory, afford the thing the, next time, the infirmary. I could in, uh, afford the infirmary. So let's see what happens next. Right, we've got some goods. We go into the dossier. Let's look at the loading bay. 1K JNI. 1K JNI. Yes. Accept that. That's absolutely fine. We get 918 monies. Yeah, okay, this is good. However, there is a downside we shall see at the end of the day. I assume it, the day has ended. There we go. Oh, <laughs> the day has ended. Um, we have enemy spies. And when we get stuff wrong, the enemy spies get more powerful. So the spies, our enemy spies, are mo oh, well, our spies are monitoring our enemies. They're continually devoting resources to research and development. They thrive on our failure. Oh, <laughs> the enemy spies must be delighted that Spy Master Penge is on the case. The more money you lose, the more they earn. Keep our money out of their hands. Next enemy milestone unknown. They've got four thousand seven hundred and thirteen dollars out of the seven and a half thousand that they want for their next milestone. Now they already got one milestone, and um, I think it said something like, "My um my profits are ten percent less than they should be," or something like that. So that's brilliant. So here we go. That's that day done. If I click the button, there we go. Now this bit flicks by really kind of quickly. Nothing really happens there. Uh, but I think if I remember right, there's Deros. So there's Deros, who are the poor, I think they're the poor residents of Kazatare, which is the country we're in. And then Gadders, who are the rich ones. I think it's that way round. And that's kind of what caused the conflict. And that's what all the game's about. Okay, now we can build an infirmary. So yes, I've got no idea what floor it needs to go on. But do you know what? Yeah, that'll do. Yes, I would. So it takes a little while to build that. Doesn't appear by magic, of course. Obviously, you need to get secret contracted spies in. Have you all had your checks done, please? Have you all had your checks done? And um, we continue. There's no one to assign because we haven't got that far yet. So let's go back and we do another day. Now, hopefully, I can do the spy thing right. This thing has confused me. I, I will admit, 
the bit with the spies come in is very confusing. So let's get the dossier thing open. So front office, weekly code words, they are open. So we go in, you say, I've just returned from Ireland. So yes, go Ireland. So then I type bothered, bothered, okay, bothered. I can't be bothered. Any chance you could let me buy a book? So let's have a look. Any chance you could let me buy a book? Okay, nothing there. We're at page two. Any ch Ah, bothered. Ah, yes, ah, this is what I did wrong. So then I've said bothered, and here's replied with any chance you could let me buy a book. So he said any, which is the word that we're after. So yes, I'm going to accept you. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> okay, so yeah, my word was bothered in response to his island query, his island keyword, and then he responded with the word any from my response. So that's kind of how that works. Right, okay, what have we got? Is everyone doing stuff? Oh no, it's just up here. Uh, it's just a bit of cryptography stuff. Uh, v, uh, okay, right, this, uh, da, 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 Y, F forward three, da, 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 I, D forward three, da, 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 uh, YIG, that's not a word, is it? So it's backwards. So V, take away three is one, two, three, S. F take away three is one, two, three, C. It's got to be this. It's got to be S, C. D three backwards is A. O three backwards is one, two, three. That's L. And H three backwards, I bet is E. Yes, scale. Okie doke. 918 monies. Thank you very much. Splendid. Right, who's coming in next? Anything next? It's got to be the little sort of goods bay, hasn't it? We haven't seen one of those yet. Uh, yay, and there it is. So here we go. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, well, I, I clicked too readily there, it seems. Okay, well, that was a shame, because that's the easiest one of the lot. That doesn't take any effort. You just compare a thing. This, you actually have to do some work. Uh, okay, right, what's this one? One, two, three. So it could be I, one, two, three, R, H, one, two, three, Erk, uh, one, two, Erk, Dug. So no, it's backwards again. So one, two, three. So it's going to be C. And then O backwards, three is one, two, three, L. And then H backwards three is one, two, three. And then that's E. And then D backwards one is that. And then Q back, it's got to be N, hasn't it? One, two, three. Yeah, clean. Okay, clean. Give me 918 monies. This is all very good. Right. Now the goods thing. Yeah, that, I must have just double clicked too quickly there. I must have clicked to go in and then it. I clicked on the reject button or the accept button or whatever it was. Oh, right, here comes a spy. But are you a good spy or a bad spy? Let us find out. Do you have any literature on Cthulhu or Cthulhu, however you pronounce it? Uh, literature. I think that was on... Is it on one of these? Uh, do you have any literature on Cthulhu? So, uh, I don't think... I don't think you're a legitimate person. I don't think you are an actual real spy. I think... No, reject you. Yes! So you're a baddie spy trying to get in. You're trying to get in by using keywords that you think might be real but no you messed up that one didn't you you naughty spies uh, right so we'll go into there and that one there go into the loading bay U W. no reject that there's no uw's anywhere on the list yay okie dokie i think that's it i think the day ends at 10 a.m weird enough we only operate at night because we're spies obviously the spies can only go out at night time it seems the day's ended. Oh, just shy of five grand. Ah, oh, we could have got five grand. Uh, yeah, they're going to get a bit more. They're going to get a little bit more from my errant clicking error there, but never mind. Uh, okay, the government doesn't recognise any sort of rebel groups. Uh, there we go. We've we've got a we've got an infirmary. I mean, it looks horrendous. <laughs> I could have painted it white, like an actual infirmary is supposed to look. That is not an infirmary. But they didn't need people in to do the walls. That's a screen. And a bed and and a thing. I don't know what they're called, but the thing which you wheel around, which has like drip things hanging off it that go into you. And then, and then, what's that? Chest of drawers and a chair. That did not need to take a day to set that up. I mean, you can get that all stuff from Ikea and plug it, to, uh, put it together in about an hour. Okay, so yeah, here's the guy. Here's the sort of the boss guy. Great work, manager. I'll let you figure out how to properly run the infirmary. I trust it's in your hands, but as always, help is in your dust. Yeah, yes, okie dokie. Now, I'm sure you've been wondering about the assignment phase. Indeed, because I don't have anything to assign. It's time for us to step up our efforts against President Mwimbe. Mwimbe. Mwimbe way. Mwimbe way. That kind of thing. So, yes, him. Jolly good. One of his key generals is in town, and we have a narrow window to take him out. You will need to recruit some muscle. Construct a black ops barracks as soon as you can. 
Dismissed. Okay, so now we can dis uh, uh, build one of those. We can construct one of those. How much are they? 12 grand! <laughs> Might be a little while before we get one of those in. Um, okay, well whilst we're here, because we can't build one of those, and we've got no one to assign, let's have a look at this. Uh, so, we get a bit here. Infirmary instructions. Uh, provide uh, wounded operatives with a matching blood pack and proper medication. Uh, okay. Oh my goodness me, what do I need to do with this? Uh, blood type B. Needs anti-poison. Imidex Lomox. Oh goodness me. Oh, what is this? I don't know what blood bag to give them. Blood bag B minus. Allergies Dilipidi Vipotholin Velodol. <laughs> is that right? I want to give them a B minus blood bag. Give them that. And then first aid. What? What are these? I don't know what these are. I have no idea what these things are. What are they? What's that? Oh, it could tell me on the lid, couldn't it? So we want to have uh, Absorex. Active ingredients. Those three things. He's not allergic to any of those things. So yeah, give him that, I think. Have I just killed him? Oh dear. <laughs> Might have just killed one of our spies. Ah, okie dokie. Well, there we go. <laughs> okie doke. I didn't think I'd picked any of those. I picked Absorex. He didn't say he was allergic to any, did he? Um, okay. Uh, right, okay. Well, we'll, we'll, try, we'll try that again at another point. Does this shop close soon? Does. Okay. Tapes, I think is what I've got to say. Tapes. Respond. And did you know that we have audio to even for a few minutes? So now I need to find even... Even for a few minutes? No, I don't think. Uh, yeah, no, I said... What, hang on, what did he say? I said, does this tapes? And then he said, even for a few minutes. So I need a tapes, even for a few... Yeah, tapes, even, yes. Except you're a legitimate spy man and you've given us some more money. So yes, the more stuff we have in our building, the more money we get per... I don't know what they are, but little encounter thing that we deal with. Right, it's got to be you guys down here. Yeah, okay, right. Okay, let's go and have a look at that. Uh, loading bay, N, uh, C, N9. No, reject that. That's dodgy. That's like, I don't know, explosives or uh, who knows what that is. Who knows what could be in the thing they just tried to deliver to us. But we don't want it. I'm a bit sad that I've killed our spy. Because I actually thought I did the right thing. <laughs> I actually thought I'd done the right thing. Um, okay, cipher plus or minus four. One, two, three, four, R. W forward is one, two, three, four, A. Two H's, four is one, two, three, four. Uh, Ral and U forward, one, two, three, four. Rally, ah, okay, right, there we go. Rally, yes, give me the monies. Show me the monies. Beautiful. Okay, we're, we're getting through the cash. I mean, yeah, we just lost a massive load of it by killing one of our people, but, you know, never, oh no, oh no. Okay, right, blood type B+, plus. that's fine. H. Smith, so B+, plus. let's give him some B+, plus blood, because that's what he needs. Needs anti-poison, so anti-poison. So what's that? That's Amphomel, anti-poison, Amphomel. He's allergic to Dilipidi, which is not in any of those. Dithox, ah, he's allergic to Monothox. Okay, we need to find the other one, uh, not that one. Uh, Imidox. Um, ah, yeah, there we go. He should be all right with that. He's not allergic to acetylene, benzethium, or dipralene. So if we give him that, Imidox should treat his anti-poison, I think. Okay, I really don't understand how the, the infirmary works at all. Because that seemed to make perfect sense to me, and that didn't make any sense. That just didn't work. That just didn't work at all. He wasn't allergic to any of those ingredients, and it was the right blood type. So, okay, I need to look into that. That's given them their bonus. So now, Kevlar Vests. All Black Ops missions have 10% less chance of, presumably it says success at the bottom, and the enemies now need 50 grand for their next target. But the rate it's going, they are going to get there very, very quickly. But okay, most casualty air citizens speak English or French. Um, Right, okay, so it's going to... Hello... Why have we got a close-up here? Who are you, suspicious-looking man? Don't say anything. Okay. I won't do. Do you want me to click the mouse or something instead? Okay. I know about your boss upstairs. The manager. I can hear you, you know. You look very shifty in that outfit. Send him a message. Get out of this country. You're infected. Rotting from the inside out. Dot, dot, dot. 
We know who you are. Do you? Question mark. Oh, very good, Spy Man. Turn the tables on us. Yes, cheerio. Bye bye. I'm sure our happy go lucky, slightly weird looking reception lady will not be bothered. There's me, looking a little bit weird at my table. And unfortunately, we are a little bit shy of the $12,000 it's going to cost us to put our Black Ops barracks. We're only just over half of that due to, some, due to essentially me killing our spies, which is probably not the best move, is it? So um, yes, we'll have to we'll have to wait to build the uh, wait to put our Black Ops barracks, which is a shame because that thing sounds fun. That's where the actual sending out agents happens. But never mind, we've got to get there first. So what I'll do is I shall I'll just play through. I'll play through until we have the money because there's no time limit. I know the man in the corner said, "Oh, there's an important." general in town you must go and kill him please but um yeah i don't think there's an actual time limit i think i could play for a hundred days and i would still be fine i don't imagine he's going to pop up and say the general's buggered off now you've missed him you silly man so uh, yeah we'll keep playing but when we have an infirmary thing we will come to it and we shall have a look at it in closer detail so i'll uh, have a look at the proper wording in that dossier thing and we'll have a look we'll go through it very carefully and we'll make sure that we do it absolutely utterly correctly and if it doesn't work if i'm absolutely certain i didn't write it doesn't work then yes we can sort of write that off as a, a, a beta beta version test sort of bug thing but um yeah so we'll come to those if it happens i'm sure it will and uh, yeah we'll just fly through we'll fly through until we have the 12 grand and we can build our black ops barracks okay the infirmary is flashing on and off we are the person we need to treat don't need to worry about time it is not a problem so i've done a few things look i've actually got some stuff right so here we go so it says, provide wounded operatives with the matching blood pack and proper medication. There are multiple medications that can be used, but be careful. Check that the provided medication does not contain the ingredient that the operative is allergic to. Okay, so let's go into here. And T. Smith, blood type AB+. So that is that one there. AB+. I've just clicked AB+. Give him the AB+, blood. Splendid. Now it says, needs anti-poison. So is that an anti-poison medicine? So anti-poison medicines, Imodex, da, 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 Absorex, medication name, Absorex, and he is allergic to magnesium, which this does not contain, Absorex, which obviously is a bit weird because that's what the name of the thing is, and Amphamel. So he is not allergic to any of those things. I've given him AB blood. He is not allergic to magnesium, Absorex, or Amphamel. If I give him that, this should, in theory, be fine, and it's an anti-poison one. Ab Azorbex. Oh no, no! I am entirely wrong. That is absolutely, well, that is absolutely stupid. Who has given those those names? Oh, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> that's the, yeah, okay, right. No, I am giving him the wrong stuff. No, no, right, there we go. Medication name, Absorex. That's what that is. Right, and he is allergic to that, so we need to find another one. Um, what one's that, Amphem Amphemel? He's not allergic to Dithox, Colubraid, or Elipidol. Okay, I think that's fine, and that is, Amphomel, and that is Amphomel, anti-poison thing. Right, give him that. Okay, right, I'm surprised he didn't die in the time that I was faffing about doing that. Right, okay, so there's Absorex, and then there's Azorbex, and there's Azorbalax. Oh, dearie me, okay. <laughs> right, uh, A, B minus. I can absolutely do the blood type thing, that's fine. Uh, he needs an anti-poison as well, so how about Lomox? That is an anti-poison, and now I'm checking the spelling of everything. So he's not allergic to Veladol, he's not allergic to Colubraid, and he's not allergic to Dithox. So yes, give him Lomox for anti-poison. Yes, right, we have <laughs> got this down. We've got this down, and I think the day will end, and we've got the money to build the Black Ops Barracks. Which is jolly splendid, $13,260. So yeah, there we go, we can now build the thing. They're not going to get anything from me this time. Absolutely nothing, because I did it all actually terrifyingly correct. Rumblings of rebellion, yep, okie doke. Um, okay, well, I, I don't really know what the advantages of building it anywhere, so that'll do. 12 grand, yes, I'd love to build that room, please. Build it a bit quieter, shh, <laughs> it's supposed to be for spies. Right, continue, continue. So, I'll run through this entire day, because there's nothing else to do, you've seen it all now. So, I'll run through this whole day and come back when that barracks is done, and then we can assign people, and it shall all be very good, and I can be... Like, whatever her name was, Jane, uh, Jane, Dame Judy Dench, and ordering around the spies. That's exactly it, but hopefully I won't get, like, you know, dead or whatever. Oh, spoilers. Sorry, everyone, if you haven't seen all the James Bond films. Spoilers. Uh, Dame Judy, Judy Dench gets deadified at one point, uh, but I won't tell you how. Anyway, right, moving on. 
Oh yeah, check out Spy Master Penge. I got nothing wrong that day. The DM, the cipher one is an absolute nightmare. Good grief, that takes a long time. It's really hard. You think it'd be really easy to go, yeah, what's five letters forward? Five letters forward isn't too bad, but yeah, five letters backwards is really complicated. So on a bit of paper, I have a little sort of notepad in front of me for things and a mechanical pencil. I love a mechanical pencil. I've got the alphabet written in a line and then I've got numbers over each one. So when it's got like whatever back four, I can just sort of look at N and go one, two, three, four back and then go, all right, that's J or whatever. Because otherwise it's quite hard. That's very hard to do as in at speed. You could do it, you know, type each letter in and realize it doesn't make a word and then, you know, delete it all and then try going backward or forward or whatever. But yeah, that's that is quite tricky. It's quite a tricky thing. Also, I think I've got the hang of the um, the spies coming in the door as well. I think I was doing it a bit wrong potentially, but I think I've understood it now. Right. So let's see what we do. Let's see what we do with our black ops sort of deployment. Oh, look, it's got a picture of guns uh, that that's that's the shooty bit. That's where the bullets come out. I know that. That's a, I don't know what that is, like handle. That there is a, is that another handle? That's a, maybe you put it over your shoulder or something there. This long bit here, I don't know what that's for. <laughs> I honestly don't know what that long bit is. Ammo? The ammo can't stick out like that. It looks ridiculous. And there's a map. Presumably that's where we're supposed to be. There's a target, you think. There's some lockers. Okay, manager, you now have the ability to recruit Black Ops soldiers. During the assignment phase, go to the Black Ops barracks. You'll need to recruit a soldier. Once a soldier is recruited, view the active missions and assign that soldier to the mission. Once you're ready, deploy the assignment. The operative will take a day or two to complete the assignment before reporting back. Okay, so can't construct anything. I don't think, anyway. I don't think we can. Can we construct anything else? An interrogation room. 12 grand. Only just shy, though. Only just shy. The only thing is, the only thing that's... Oh, I see. These are complete story missions. I would like it if you could sort of build... Obviously, it's taking us through a little sort of hand... It's holding our hand as we go through the story. I'd love to be able to just go through and just go, Yes, I've built some stuff. I've built more things. At the minute I feel a bit... It's like, now do this. Now do that. Now do that. Well done. That kind of thing. But okay. Right. Well, let's click on that then. We need to hire ourselves. Let's recruit a soldier because we haven't got one. Would you like to recruit a soldier? Ten grav only. Just got enough money to recruit one. Yes, please. Dread Liz. <laughs> Oh, look at you. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Okay, I mean, I, is that the right name? I don't know if Liz would inspire too much dread if I if I happened across Liz. Uh, I mean, she's probably she, she probably is an absolute badass, but she doesn't look it. But maybe that's why she's a spy, you see. Maybe that's why she's a spy. She looks all unassuming and like she has no neck. And that's fine. But that's fine. So, yeah, that, you wouldn't suspect a thing. You wouldn't suspect that she was like a you know, super trained mega killer. So, uh, firearms, hand to hand, and stealth. She's got one in each of those. I have no basis of comparisons. That could be terrible. Or that could be exceptional. I don't know. However, one is quite a low number. So, I'm going to guess it's a little bit rubbish. Black Ops soldiers perform clandestine wet work missions. Wet work? I don't, I don't know what that means. What's wet work? Each soldier has three core skills, uh, possibly, that can be upgraded as they level up. Assign soldiers to missions that best suit their skills. Okay, well, I've only got one mission. Death of a general. Um, one day, 85% chance of success, of course, because our spy enemies have reduced that down by 10%. So it would have been 95%. So Mwimba um, Way, Mwimba Way, Mwimba Way's top general is in town on vacation. Our intel has provided his location, a posh country club and resort. Send a black ops soldier to eliminate him. Oh, yes. Oh, Dread Liz is going to disguise herself as like a waitress or something. He'll be looking at her. He'll be thinking, she's got no neck. And then he'll just go, Boo! she'll go bang and there'll be a big fight and she'll be fine. Okay, right. Let's uh, let's pick Dread Liz. If we can pick you, assign. There we go. And deploy. So we've got one soldier. Oh, odds of success go up. Oh, they've gone up. Look. Ah, and if I hadn't have messed up so many times beforehand, that would have been 100%. But now there's a time. Well, there's a well, 1 in 10 risk of failure. Okie doke. Deploy that. One day remaining. And I think that is it for the assignment phase. So, yeah, we need a, we need 10 grand then. Oh, good grief. Okay, fine. Well, let's continue then. And uh, let's do another day. Let's do another day and let's see how Dread Liz gets on. <laughs> ah, whilst we're here, whilst the spy guy is in, I'll just go through what I was doing wrong. So step one, this first page on page one of the key keywords is what he's saying to me. So I want to get some gifts for my knee. So get. So he said get. So I'm going to respond with the opposite word on the other side, which is care. So I will respond. He'll say care. Oh, I don't really care. And then I need to go on this side. So if I've then said care, I need to see what he says in return. So he should say think. 
but he said I'll return later. So he's not said the right response word to my I don't really care comment. I'm going to reject you and get us a cool $1,377 and you out the door, Sonny. Sling your hook. Um, also, the sound has got a bit weird. I've got that sort of weird scratchy noise that I haven't had on this computer for quite a long time. So if you can hear a weird scratchy sound, apologies. It's um, it's something to do with when the graphics are going stuff and the computer gets hot or something. I don't know. But whatever, you can hear the scratchy noise. I apologise. Right, let's get through to the end of the day and see how much cash we've got and how Liz did. Okay, made a bit of a boo-boo on the infirmary there, although I was absolutely certain I'd done it right. I was absolutely certain. But it's the names. It's the names of things that catch you out. It's like, you know, something's called lithaline, and something's called lithaline, and something's called li lithaline, and it's sort of like, oh, you're doing it so quick, it's uh, gone wrong. So, okay, they got a little bit more money, but that's fine. There's a long way to go into their next thing. The United States deny any rumours of a presence there. And we have killed the general. We've killed Muwimbe, Muwimbe's general, uh, was assassinated while taking an afternoon swim in the pool. There were no witnesses. So we've earned 2,000 and that soldier has earned one and a half grand. Okay, that's very cool. Oh, and a newspaper's popped up. Cazatare's favourite source of news is the Cazatare Times. Uh, top Muimbe general dead. A top ranking general said for President Muimbe has been found dead in his vacation home. Foul play is suspected. I don't know what you could mean. Uh, right, we can't build anything. Ah, this is our guy on the street. This is our sort of uh, our guy out there, our sort of contact guy. Hello, manager. Today's a good day. I see we took out one of the big generals. But I fear not every mission will be so easy. Oh, frowny, grumpy face. Maybe not, but at least we got off to a good start. Yeah, that's it. Remain positive. Very true. Good smile. Annoying gap in teeth. And with that, I've got something that may be of interest. Is it a massive sack of cash? I've heard that one of Muimbe's cabinet ministers is looking to flee the country. This man has top info on the administration. He'd be a valuable asset to have on our hands. I'm sure he's got a lot of stories to tell. Ah, do we need to build ourselves an interrogation cell by any chance? Indeed. The only challenge is that we have no room to interrogate informants. Mr. Lewis told me you should look into this. You can only complete some missions if you have the right rooms. Good luck, my friend. Okie dokie. Right, so yes, we will need to construct whatever it was, an interrogation room or whatever it was. Was it that? It was an interrogation room. But we don't have the 12 grand. We've got 8-4, so never mind. Uh, okay, so we can't build anything. Assignment. Let's see if we've got any missions. Uh, cleaning out the cabinet. Needs interrogation room. Uh, are you sure you want to go back? Going back to the thing. Yes, I want to go back. Uh, street cleaning. Oh, we can do that. We can put Liz in for that. Ah, she gets to upgrade one of her things. Okay. What do we want? Firearms, hand-to-hand -hand or stealth? Well, I think stealth might be useful for Dread Liz. Let's up your stealth, Liz, a little bit. That's quite cool. I like that. It's got a little bit of sort of RPG type stuff in it. Okay, let's assign you to street cleaning. Groups of local hooligans are spray painting pro Mwimbe graffiti across the streets of Cazatare City. Well, the little ne'er do wells send some muscle out to intimidate the goons. <laughs> I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't know if Liz is is your woman to go and intimidate anyone. But again, she might be able to go and totally kick ass. So yeah, okay, let's assign her to that. 85% chance of success. Let's deploy her to that because we can't do cleaning out the cabinet because we haven't got an interrogation room. But we do get a bonus for stealth. Ah, I did pick the right thing that time. Okay, so confirm that and that's got one day remaining. It's got a little book on it. That might mean that it's one of the story missions possibly, but okie doke. So Liz has been dispatched to that. Here we go. We need another day. I need to get at least 12 grand to build our room. So let's carry on and try and get 12 grand and not be quite so inept this time round. Okay, total cash, 16,669. Again, they're going to get a little bit more money. The enemy intel are going to get a little bit more money. I clicked on the loading bay thing and it didn't do anything. So I clicked it again and then it seemed to zoom into the loading bay and counted as I had accepted a code that I was supposed to be checking. So that was annoying. So I should have had a little bit more money than that. But it's plenty. It's plenty. Uh, the reports of Soviet trucks in the interior. Wow, the Soviets are involved, are they? But we got two and a half grand from that which is good that's lovely and we've earned some xp now i don't think that's enough for for her to go up any in terms of levels but never mind right well construction thing let's build the interrogation room up here let's build it on the top out of the way you know it's surrounded on all sides so no one can hear the screaming let's build that yes please get on with building the thing let's go into here into the assignment period missions cleaning out the cabinet we haven't got interrogation room yet so we can't do that i don't think liz 
Yes, I want to confirm. Uh, no, 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 not that. How do I find... Where were the soldiers? There. No, not recruit soldiers. I want to look at the soldiers I've got. Ah, there. So, yeah, so she's got 500 out of 3,000 XP. So there's no way she's going to level up from that. Okay, well, Liz, you've, you've, you've got the day off. You've got the day off. Make good use of it, Liz. Make good use of it. Um, okay, right. Well, back we go. Another day will roll round. Let's see what our interrogation room will bring when it's done. Oh, Spy Master Pendra is tremendous there. I did very well. $6,808. I don't think I got anything wrong. No, I didn't get anything wrong. Haha, <laughs> take that, enemy. So, uh, the, the reports at present, Myumbe is a communist sympathizer. Ugh, damn communists. Okay, construction period. I don't think I can build anything. Let's check the um, the cost of the next thing. So the next thing there, train and deploy spies on missions. Am I not already deploying spies on missions? What is that? The spy lounge. <laughs> I do like the spy lounge. That's very good. Now this, I don't know what that is. A uh, oh, forgery workshop. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, and then you go, yeah, I want the gadget lab. I really want the gadget lab, but that's 20 grand. Oh, money's quite hard to come by on this. Okay, right, well, I can't do that. So let's continue. Uh, assignment. Uh, yeah, how do I make this work? Ah, right, now, now we need to do this. So we need to go on a mission. We need to clean out the cabinet and we need to get ourselves a soldier assigned to that. So 94% chance of success. Yes, deploy you. Come out of that. So Liz goes away. Liz drops off on an important mission to go and do some stuff and bring someone back so we can interrogate them. Uh, that's it. So we'll just run through another day. Maybe, yeah, we should get... I don't know, we'll be at least on 25 grand, I thought, unless I make a massive sack full of errors. So yeah, we come back on 25 grand, we might be able to build the next room. Really, I want to get to the, the gadget lab, but I don't know if we'll get that far. But um, that's what I'd like. So yeah, let's just, um, let's do another day then. We'll do another day. I want to see how the interrogation room works. Oh, this is interesting. We've got ourselves an interrogation thing, and then we've got nobody in the interrogation room, which is slightly bizarre. Okay, interrogation instructions. I don't know what to do. We can only question Kazatair born nationals who are persons of interest. Ensure the following. Suspect was born in Kazatair. Well, that says our origin Angola. So do I immediately just release you because you're not from Kazatair? Yeah, origin Angola. You're not born in Kazatair. So no, we release you. Okay, and we're also getting a little bit more money this time. We're getting $2,295 per correct thingy rather than whatever it was before. But uh, yeah, that's quite a big boost as well. So we've got quite a lot of cash going on. Quite a lot of cash. Right, let's just deal with this man while we're here. Jolly good. Let's have a chat to you. I think I'd like to buy something. Uh, I think I'd like to buy something. Away with you, my good man. You are a naughty, naughty spy. Away, out the door, on your ear, Sonny Jim. And don't you darken our doors again. Okay, the day has ended. 28 grand. And I fell foul. We should be over 30 grand, but I fell foul again of the uh, weird little thing where you click on the loading bay and it just sort of goes, yeah, I reject. It's, it's very strange. You click it once and it goes, no, I'm not interested. Click it again. It goes, no, I don't care. Then you double click it. It zooms in and then counts as though you've picked one of the options, which is a little bit irritating, I'll be honest. But there we go. Sort of, it's, you know, not the finished build. I'm sure they'll sort that out. So they're getting a little, little close to their 50 grand target, but that's fine. So here we go. Oh, look, Kazatair sits on a, uh, a secret resource that nobody knows what it is. Cleaning out the cabinet. The cabinet minister was intercepted by your operative, who's found hidden in the trunk of a car attempting to cross the land border. He is more than happy to cooperate in return of safety, or in turn for safety. So we've got no cash. We've got 1,500 XP for our soldier, which won't be enough to level them up, which is a shame. Hello, manager. I see this fine safe house as a brand new guest. Well, it's fine unless you look at these bits over here, in which case it's rubbish, but the front bit's quite nice. We'll ask him some questions and hopefully flip him. He'll be working for us and we can protect him from Muwimbe. Most of our cooperators, cooperators even, are willing to work with us in order to get a piece of the American dream. Fair enough. I'd take any offer of protection from Muwimbe. Speaking of which, what's the next move? Well, you've got some work to do. We still need black ops teams running missions, but additionally we need a lighter touch. Build a spy lounge to recruit some spies. Oh, so these are black ops guys. They go out and do the hard work. They go out and do the gunning down. These are like the James Bond kind of guys with the guns and the gadgets and the girls. Spies are more sort of, you know, sort of slightly creepier and slightly more insidious. And they'll go and join, you know, governments and things like that, I imagine. Understood. In the meantime, work with Marcel. I've got pressing matters to attend to. Yes, indeed, I'm sure you have. Trouble in the colonies, as they say. <laughs> right you are. Right, we can afford to build one of those things. So that's exciting. Let's build ourselves a spy lounge. Yes, get that done. Continue. Assignment. Is there a mission for you to do? No, there is not. There are no missions for you to get on with. I'm very sorry, Liz. 
and you've not even got enough XP to level up. So Liz, you're just going to have to have another day off. Uh, right, let's trundle through to the next day. Uh, hopefully get some cash, see what the spy lounge brings us. And then, um, yeah, do we go for the gadget thing? I don't know if we're going to be able to get to the gadget thing in time. I don't know. Let's see. Ah, here we go. The first thing we've got to deal with is an interrogation. So, he was born. This person was born in Casatare. Suspect is on the person of interest list. Uh, see page two. Oh, okay. Uh, Detaunt. Uh, Detaunt is indeed on the list. Okay, they're the only two conditions. Yeah, okay, right. So, they're born in Casatare. They're on this list. Detaunt is on the list. Yes, we shall question you for $2,295. Thank you very much. Okay, and that that is simple. That's actually not too bad. That's not too bad a little challenge. So, okay, right, here we go. Let's see if we can kill someone in here in the infirmary. Let's get on with it, and we'll see what happens at the end of the day. And the day has ended 24 grand in the bank, which is quite good. That's pretty good. Don't think it did anything wrong. No, it did nothing wrong, which is very rare indeed. Casatero is in the middle of a three-year drought. That's probably not helping matters. Oh, another sinister man. He's coming back in. The sinister man is coming in. Can we not? We've got some agents upstairs. Can we not just, just you know, kill him? I was hoping you'd get our message. Get out of this country. No, won't. Click tell me the next message, please. I'm sorry, ma'am. Oh, you're very slow at talking. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, you scoundrels. You, you, no, not whatever her name was. We didn't even give her a name. Uh, what should we call Barbara. Not Barbara. Barbara, you had a gun down here. You had a gun. It was here. You should have picked it up or pressed the emergency button or whatever. Barbara's dead. And nobody's bothered to come in and help. Nobody's bothered to, you know, come in. They've got a black ops trained operative up there. I mean, you could have come in and helped a bit, Liz. Okay, right. So Barbara in the front office has been shot dead. What does this do then? How is this going to help in any way, shape or form? What do we do now? Hello, manager. Apologies about last night's troubles. Oh, they've just replaced Barbara, have they, with you? I don't know, Belinda, that'll do. Um, you see that you've already stepped up and replaced the damaged goods. You are a very cold man. I hope you aren't too shaken up with what happened. We have our top men looking into the situation. We'll sniff out to wherever the attacker was. Well, he looks like all the other spies that came in. The agency has provided you with some extra cash as a means of compensating for your trauma. Have you? Have you really? Didn't I have that before? I had something around that. It's not that much money. In the meantime, fresh orders for you. We need to increase our strength here. Matt means smuggling agents over the border. We also need to bring the fight to Muwimbe. Time to make things explosive. Construct a bomb workshop as soon as possible. Deploy your spies in this assignment with utmost haste. Okay, so construction period. I don't suppose we can build a bomb workshop because I imagine it's very, very expensive. That's a forgery workshop. That's the spy lounge. Where's the bomb workshop? 16 oh, we could build the bomb workshop. Construct bombs and explosives for use in the field. Yeah, okay, yes, put it there. I mean, is it wise, actually, in hindsight, putting the bomb workshop in the middle of the building? <laughs> I mean, maybe putting it in the corner would have been best. So if something does go wrong, if there is a mishap in the bomb workshop, it'll only take off this corner. Rather than this, is going to cause quite a little bit of damage. Okay, never mind. Right, here we go, then. Let's have a look. Uh, you in here, have you got any missions to do? Shoot them up. One soldier. Yeah, well, why the heck not? Liz, might as well go on it. 80%. Deploy Liz. Splendid. And spies up here. So we need to recruit a spy for 10 grand. So that's all we can do. So yes, recruit to one spy. Strawbridge. Oh, yes. Okay, they've got cool code names. And a mission, Border Crossing. Uh, we smuggle in some of the top scientific minds that will lend their knowledge to our war. Send an agent to ensure their covert entry into the country goes without a hitch. Okay, well, Agent Strawbridge... Our Agent Strobridge looks familiar to Liz. <laughs> looks a little bit similar, even. Uh, I mean, you know, change the hair colour, take the coat off. Yeah, maybe they're related somehow. Maybe they're related. So they have infiltration. I assume it's supposed to have an extra T in there. So infiltration, charm, and investigation. Bonus success chance for soldiers with firearm skills. Okay, well, we're not sending... The, uh, hang on. Soldiers with firearm skills. They don't have firearm skills. Uh, okay, let's assign you to that. And let's deploy Strobridge to that mission. 
And you know what, with that, I think we will leave it there. You get the idea with how the game works. You build extra rooms onto the building that give you new funky things. You go through each day and you complete the little sort of tasks to give you the money. We will send our spies off on missions. We'll send the uh, Black Ops guys out on missions as well. They will go out and do some stuff and Liz can go out and do some stuff. Liz can become the best agent in the world and it goes on from there and the story will go on. So I think this is quite a good spot to leave it. I think we've done pretty well, actually. I think we've done pretty well. Bit of a shaky start with a few errors going on but then now I think we've got the hang of it in the end I think we've got the hang of it Spy Master Penge actually actually did a pretty good job in the end so um yeah that's quite fun I like that so it comes out tomorrow if this video goes out as planned it comes out tomorrow 22nd of May and it's going to be on Steam. I think it's going straight into full release. I don't think it's going into early access or anything like that. So if you want to go and have a look and check it out, a link to the Steam Store page is in the video description below. And um, yeah, go and have a look if this sort of thing interests you. But yeah, I think that's fun. It's a fun, it's a fun game, and I'm intrigued to see how it will, uh, how the full version will go. You know what they've changed and stuff. I did notice in the infirmary the only thing that um, they were ever being treated for was anti-poison. So I imagine in the full version. There'll be the uh, full range of sort of uh, ailments <laughs> that the agents will have that we'll have to pick the medicines for. And um, yeah, I'll keep my eye on it. I'll keep my eye on it. Please let me know what you think about this in the comments. Let me know. I mean, if you want to see more, if you want to see more, please let me know. And if there's enough, if there's enough people screaming and shouting, they would like to see a little bit more of this, then we may well come back to it. But I'm not planning on it right now. I'm planning on sort of leaving it right there because as well, I don't want to ruin the story. I just want to go out and play this and buy it and play it. I don't want to ruin the story for them. But um, yeah, let me know what you thought in the comments. If you did enjoy Enjoy it if you thought it was fun or interesting or whatever please do leave a like and also please do subscribe to keep up to date with games like this that we play in the geek cupboard and all the other stuff as well but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i will see you next time this room was fire free until it wasn't okay yeah come with me if you want to live paul hop on we <laughs> this is brilliant that looks fun do some watery stuff yes make the propane caster not explode uh yeah the toilet's on fire never mind oh dear that didn't go according to plan never mind it's fine <laughs>